Hi, it's Mitch from PickDogs.com. Here with the free pick in the Bucks versus Bulls NBA matchup on Monday, December 11, 2023. Of course, uh, we do tons of free picks every day. When you give out that many free picks, you're going to like some more than others. And uh, to find out which ones those are, head on over to the Premium Picks tab at PickDogs.com and use the discount code PICK to take 15% off. We also have Dime Club and Sharp Trading Plays meant for people who make big bets. I make big bets. I know a lot of you do as well, but you have to text the number you see on the screen. It's the only way to get the Dime Club and Sharp Trading. But let's get to this one. Bucks taking on the Bulls. Of course, somewhat of a regional rivalry here. It seems just uh, about an hour drive apart from one another. The Bucks seven and three in their last ten. The Bulls five and five in their last ten. But actually two and eight straight up on the road this season. Three and seven against the number. While the Bucks always one of the best home teams. Ten and two straight up at home. But against the number, uh, not quite as good. Four, uh, four, eight and one. So uh, the Bucks. While they've won games at home, not quite the dominating force at home that we've seen in the past. When we look at this Bulls team, you know, I said it last time out and I'll say it again. They are playing their best basketball of the season right now. And that's not saying much because this isn't a very good Bulls team and they have maybe three good players on the whole team. But, you know, whatever that's for whatever it's worth, they are playing their best basketball right now. And I think we need to look at that because they've won four in a row, covered the spread in, in all four of those games, including a 120-113 win against these same Milwaukee Bucks in Chicago when they were 10 and a half point home dogs. I think when we look at the Milwaukee Bucks coming in, coming in that loss against the Pacers, that was of course in the NBA, the uh, in-season tournament action where the Pacers knocked them out. And of course the Pacers rode that all the way to the final where they fell short against the Lakers. But uh, 128, 119 in that one, they had beaten the Hawks, big deal, and beat the Knicks in a game that I thought was super impressive, putting 146 points on in a game where I tell you, the Knicks, they just ended up being a very super public dog in that game. And we all know when the public jumps on board that underdog, it is usually a very, very bad sign for the betters. But, you know, overall, the Bucks have won six of, or five of their last seven and uh, seven of their last ten. So not a lot to complain about there. The Bulls' offense has been inconsistent, shooting just 44.9% from the floor. That is absolutely dreadful. And while the Bucks' defense isn't very good, it matches up well against the Chicago offense, which is really bad. Meanwhile, the Bucks' offense has been super proficient in Chicago's defense. Well, it's been almost effortless, and I think that's part of the problem and why the Bulls were playing so poorly. It's a, defense is about is a lot to do with effort, and when you're not putting it in, well, your defense absolutely stinks. Of course, this is a big revenge spot for the Bucks after that win by the Bulls in Chicago, as you know, upsetting them, upsetting them. But I think at the same time, like I said, I haven't really seen the Bucks blow out too many teams at home. I know they crushed the Knicks in that game, but outside of that. I'll tell you, they really haven't been all that impressive. I'm going to take the Bulls plus the points, and that's going to be my free pick. Of course, while you're doing your picks, putting your bets in, be sure to use our free betting tools at sportschatplace.com. They'll help you put yourself on the most favorable bets on the board today.